Frustration on the streets of Tel Aviv as the Israeli government says no to a ceasefire proposal. Families of hostages determined to ramp up pressure on the government, joined protests calling for more to be done to release their loved ones. We're here to tell our government that we won't stop until they will bring everybody home now. They need to bring them home in a deal and uh, end all the suffering and uh, agony. <laughs> The uproar comes after Hamas gave the green light to the deal mediated by Egypt and Qatar. The offer would see a truce take place in multiple stages, starting with the release of some of the hostages and partial Israeli troop pullbacks within Gaza. Israel says the terms are far from its core demands and has long insisted that it will not remove boots from the ground as it continues to hunt down Hamas militants. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is now set to send a negotiating team to Egypt to discuss an agreement. We examine every response very seriously and we review every possibility on the issue of negotiations and the return of the hostages to their homes as quickly as possible as a central task. The Israeli military says it will continue its ground invasion of Rafah, thought to be Hamas's last stronghold in Gaza. Earlier, the city was the scene of celebrations over the news of a potential ceasefire deal. Now with no pact in sight, the excitement seems premature. Israel is warning 100,000 Palestinians to evacuate eastern neighborhoods in Rafah. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says the looming invasion would be intolerable for some 1.4 million Palestinians taking refuge in the city.